what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and this video right here is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because i signed myself now i'm really excited to show you guys this snippet from an upcoming interview with an artist i did by the name of wasu and ghost these guys are finding a lot of success but we actually kind of digressed into this side conversation about one of the great debates do lyrics really matter and if they do how and when mm -hmm. lyrical it's just like it just resonates and it translates but it, it goes to where what, the, what definitions are because growing up for me when when i heard the word lyrical it meant how many words can you rhyme like it don't matter what like not yeah. the disrespect i love pat Poos, but back then <laughs> yo in like 05 06 or so whenever it was i i was a disciple of pat Poos. like I, I i knew alphabetical slaughter for like the whole thing <laughs> and then but then yeah. you go back like yeah that's cool that's cool rapping ability but is it going to speak to you like one line from Knox? and the answer is yeah. no the answer is no you know what I'm saying? you can say wait uh i know just whatever um What's his name? Kendrick Lamar had a line. I remember what song it was. It was like, rappers use big words to make the similes curse. My simplest shit be more pivotal. And it's like, yeah. it's true. If, 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 if it has to take you 30 bars to say what one person can say in like one yeah, bar. Like yeah, exactly. Yeah. If, if it, mm -hmm. like, it takes you a whole verse. For, and for me, it takes me one bar. Then who's a better writer? You know what I'm saying? Who's more lyrical? So <laughs> it, it really depends on the, on the, um, on the definitions. On the definition, but for me, like 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 Ghost said, the songwriting is the most important. Like, what can you convey with your words to so make it? Like yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, we're really we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna walk and talk a little bit. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Right. I'm with you. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. yeah, the songwriting is the most important. I'm with y'all 100, percent man. I like. At the end of the day, is what are you measuring anyway, right? We're going to have a lyrical competition, okay? We're measuring by that. But oftentimes, if you're measuring by the impact of people, like what it, how, what it changing people's lives or really hitting certain moments in their lives outside of just appreciation of technique, then it's usually going to be more about songwriting. And Steve Jobs said, I believe it was him, but he basically said, like simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. And, and Albert Einstein basically said something like, if you talk, just alluding to, like if you have to use all these big words and things like that to explain something, then you don't get it. And I think all that stuff speaks to the fact, and it's nothing against the lyrical thing. Well, quote unquote, using a lot of words, using elaborate language, none of those things. But for one, you kind of have to sit with the fact that if people don't, how can you expect to impact people if they have to stop and look up every single word? One, you know what I mean? Like, even if you're just alluding to stuff in your particular hood and they might not understand the lingo or what street you're talking about, they're going to miss out on things, right? Whenever you're related to stuff that people don't get, you're decreasing the amount of impact that you could make. So, like, whenever you simplify things, I always talk about how Tupac did, uh, early Kanye they're ultra simple artists, like as far as the lines they delivered, but the impact that they had on the lines was was everything. And, and you don't have to be lyrical for that. So I, I'm with y'all 100. percent Tupac, Kanye, and uh, and uh, and Fifty, they have like like yo, I wouldn't call them like crazy lyrical or like super lyrical or whatever, but they have reality bars. It's yeah. like every line is like so real. You know what I'm saying? Like. Fifty just saying that shit on many men in the second verse where he's like, with the with the fucking the shit about the rain and like this and that. It's like, yo, yeah. dog, all these like one liners that they like stacked up, one like one after the other. It's like crazy complete like song. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the writing yeah. is incredible. Like, uh, yeah. Then if we're gonna talk about lyrical versus songwriting, but there's a word that comes into songwriting that's the most important for me is quotables. What are you gonna What are you gonna leave the song with? Like, are you gonna quote something crazy, crazy lyrical, or are you gonna quote something that Kanye said that was like, "Oh my, I can't believe you said that." Like that shit. <laughs> it's you know a lot of times. Yeah, line. exactly. Like Drake, Drake has gets away with that stuff a lot. He's a good writer too, because in the sense that it's like, if it makes you feel like, "Damn, I could have come up, I could have came up with that." Like, oh, why did not think of that? And that's mm -hmm. what makes it like consistently brings you lines that you're like, damn, I should have thought of that. It's so relatable, it's quotable, and it's like, it's gonna stay in your mind forever. Speaking for a generation, speaking for a society, just being the people's voice, 
just telling them what's really on their mind. They might not even be able to express it themselves yeah. or formulate it in their own mind, but like you're able to write it for them. And then they're like, oh yeah, that's exactly Bruh. what I'm all That's a perfect description because I, I always say most of those lines that are super impactful and hit people that way are actually, they're like memes on the track. You know how you see memes and it's talking about some shit like, yo, I never spoke to anybody about that before, but it's crazy. They, they're right in my head with that one, right? That, that's actually the perfect, the perfect description of it. Like when, you, when you talk about quotables, when we're talking about, you know, really simplistic, not simplistic, but like simple uh, uh, lines and stuff. It's really about what you're going to put as a caption on your, on your meme. <laughs> it's, it's caption music, you know, say so people want to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> for real. So maybe maybe at some point somebody will start reverse engineering. They'll just create memes and then put the dopest memes. Into their <laughs> now, again, that's just a snippet from an upcoming interview. When that full interview drops, the link in the description will be active. It's already active on BrandManNetwork.com, of course. But with this conversation, it's a real thing. Do lyrics actually matter? When Lil Pump said, fuck J. Cole. What was he really saying? Of course he was trolling, but why did it touch a nerve and create so much energy? We had seen so many people talk so down on these mumble rappers and things like that, but actually seeing people speak down on somebody that's widely recognized by a lot of people as one of the great lyricists in hip hop, especially by an artist who isn't considered lyrical at all, we hadn't really seen anything like that before, right? At least not recently. And this touched a nerve in a way that a lot of people didn't expect because just like the spirit of hip hop originally kind of had having a lot of anti-establishment in its roots. Well, lyricism became this strong establishment. It's weird to see this other movement of people saying, nah, not only are we not lyrical artists or not caring about being lyrical artists, we're actually wholly against it. Now, of course, there's that happy medium when you realize that you can have substance but still make an impact and be as catchy of all, as all these other people. However, a lot of times, a lot of artists don't really think about the difference between lyrics and impact. They think, oh, these things are more popular and they're only popular because of this. However, at the end of the day, you gotta realize lyrics and impact are not the same thing, just the same way as having a catchy, simple song and having an impact is not the same thing. And that's what I feel like we really circled around in that talk we had. What is impact? the differentiation of lyrics and impact and what are the things necessary to touch on to actually make that impact. But I would love to know you guys' thoughts because this is one of the great debates, man. I want to hear you guys' thoughts. Some people are like, nah, F this, and y'all whack, and y'all are part of what's wrong with hip hop. Y'all are killing music just saying that memes are, are the new music, you know, blah, blah, whatever, whatever you say. I just want to hear those thoughts in the comments below. Go ahead and make that happen. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. If you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.